we will now look at the synthesis of some anti-anginal agents. We begin with the synthesis of the vasodilators. Our first synthesis is nitroglycerin, glycerol tetranitrate. This is glycerol and we use a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid as the nitrating mixture. You would recall that a similar nitrating mixture is also used for nitrating benzene to make nitrobenzene. So this nitrating mixture makes the nitronium ion NO2 plus which then attacks the three hydroxy groups to convert it into trinitroglycerol. Our second molecule is pentaerythritol tetranitrate. So we start with 2,2-bis hydroxymethyl 1,3-propane diol. And like for nitroglycerin, we adopt similar conditions, a nitrating mixture composed of nitric acid and sulfuric acid and all the four hydroxy groups are nitrated to give penta erythritol tetranitrate. A third molecule is isosorbide dinitrate. The synthesis starts with D-glucose. The aldehyde group is reduced to the alcohol. One can do this reduction by chemical methods or enzymatically like an enzyme like aldehyde reductase can will convert the aldehyde group into the alcohol. This is D-glucitol also known as sorbitol. So the next step is to do a reaction with paratolvene sulfonic acid. What does this acid do? It does a hyd dehydration of the alcoholic group at the first position and the fourth position. Oxygen which links carbon atom 1 and carbon atom 2. It also does a dehydration between the OH group at carbon atom number 3 and carbon atom number 6. So you have an oxygen now that joins up carbon atom 3 with carbon atom number 6. So two dehydration of D-glucitol with para tolvin sulfonic acid converts it into this molecule which is called as isosorbide. The equivalent way of writing it in this ring structure is as shown here. The last step is nitration with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid and the two hydroxy groups at the two and the fifth position are nitrated to get you isosorbide dinitrate.